Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to talk about desktop environments on Ubuntu. So currently I'm over here on my Ubuntu 20 laptop. So you can see here under my settings, I have Ubuntu 20.04 long-term support edition. Now Ubuntu 20 comes with the GNOME desktop by default. So that's the desktop that you're seeing here. There's an alternative desktop that was used in older versions of Ubuntu by default called Unity. Now there's this great article on linuxbabe.com here about installing the Unity desktop on Ubuntu 20.04 and the reasons why you might want to do it. So take a read here if you want to find out more information about that, but let's just hop right into how you would go about doing this. It's really a painless process. First you update your package manager and then you install the Unity desktop. So let's just copy this command and let's go to our terminal. So I'm going to open up my terminal and I'll expand this and bump up the size a little bit. So I'm going to update my package manager, enter the password for your computer here. And then come here and grab this installation command, go back to your terminal and paste this in here. And then press Y for yes and enter. So I've previously chosen to use the Light DM Display Manager. If you haven't set this up in the past, you might actually get a prompt that looks like this. So you can choose either Display Manager. You can use Unity with either one. The Light DM is the Display Manager that comes with Unity. GDM3 comes with GNOME. And this is basically the screen you see when you log into your computer or if you're coming back from a lock screen. So once you've picked those options and your installation has completed, you can just restart your computer and you should be set up with the Unity operating system. I'm gonna do that right now and then I'll see you on the other side here. So I'm going to click power off here and then power off. And here we are on our Unity desktop on Ubuntu 20.04. You can verify it by coming up here and going to about this computer and seeing this information right here. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in more Ubuntu content, especially using the Unity desktop, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos like this in the future. Take care.